In this video, I will show you how to make three different item elevators. Now let's begin with a simple bubble elevator. Place the items inside his chest and a dispenser or a dropper will shoot them up and they will go in the chest up here. Now let me show you how to make this simple bubble elevator that goes 10 blocks up. And of course you can go higher than the 10 blocks too. You can go as high as you want to. So first, depending on where you want to build this, place down your soul sand block. It needs to be soul sand, this doesn't work with soul soil. And now place your dropper pointing into the soul sand, take some glass blocks, and go 10 blocks up. Now let's make the clock. Place a comparator in here, pointing into the dispenser, a repeater, redstone dust, all the way in here, then a block in here and some redstone dust on top. Then on the front side, crouch and place a hopper and then a chest on top. You can also place two chests if you'd like to. Now let's place the item inside and the dropper shoots it inside the bubble elevator. But there's one thing missing, the bubbles and the water. And now there's two ways to do this. You either have to place a water source block in every single block in here because if you do it like this, the bubble elevator won't work, as you can see. The second option is to place down some kelp. Kelp turns all of this water into source blocks. Now if you go down and break the kelp, the elevator will shoot us up. Let's place down some blocks here. And then take out a hopper and a chest. Place the chest down in here, break the glass block behind it, and place the hopper in there. Then lastly, place some more blocks up here. Let's try it out. And there you go, a simple way to move items from point A to point B. And of course, with elevators like these, only your imagination is the limit. Because you can also move the items horizontally, going into the bubble elevator, and so on. In this one I don't have a hopper anywhere, so they will just drop down in here, but you get the idea. And if you don't have soul sad, it will work without it as well. It will just be super slow, as you can see. And the second we place down some soul sand, it will shoot up faster. You can also move items down by using some magma blocks. But of course, just dropping them down is faster, as you can see. Now here's a simple dropper elevator. The only downside is that they are loud. They are so loud. There are also silent dropper clocks, which I'll show later in this video. Now let's begin by placing down your droppers. Place 10 droppers. Now go to the front, crouch, and place your hopper pointing into the dropper in here. On top, let's place a chest. This will be your input chest. Behind here, let's leave a one block gap and place a observer pointing towards the droppers. Then on top here, place some more observers pointing down till you reach the top. Then jump down and place observers pointing into the observers so they will send a signal to the droppers. Like so. Now we just need the clock. So a comparator goes in here, repeater, redstone dust, like so. Now, let's try this out by throwing some items inside. And it's working alright. Of course, you don't want the items to just fall down in here, so let's pick them up and place a chest on top here. And now the items will go inside the chest. Simple as that. Now, because this elevator is loud and kinda expensive thanks to those observers, let me show you how to make a cheaper one that is silent. Now, let's start by placing down 10 droppers once again. Then on the front, Crowds, place a hopper and a chest on top. Redstone comparator goes here, two blocks, redstone towards, and a new comparator in here. Now take out two hoppers and place them in here, pointing into each other like so. If they don't look like this, it will not work. Now let's place down some more blocks. Let's go all the way up to the top. And then you have to break these blocks in this order. Like so. 
Now let's take us more redstone torches and place them on the insides of these blocks. All the way up. And then let's place some more on the outside in here. And as you can see, or here, the droppers are clicking. Then we need one more item. You can use any item you have, because it will go inside these hoppers. And the item should lock inside this one, because this torch is on. And here, as you can see, if I place, let's place a stack of grass, you can still hear a sound. But once we place the chest on top, sound is gone. It's made this dropper silent. This clock is ancient design. I can't remember where I saw it for the first time, but I've been using this for years. So if you know who's the original designer, let me know in the comments so I can link it down in the description. So there you go, three simple item elevators. My name is Cayman, thank you for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.